Well, Eric Dungy getting ready for the first road game of the season here this week. And Eric, let's start with that. What changes for you guys this week with, you know, traveling for the first time and getting into that process? Yeah, I mean, you just got to stay focused. Um, road games are different than the home games. Uh, it's going to be, you know, everybody's against us. So you just got to really stay focused and it's, you know, just us. You were obviously a freshman last year going through it with the trips to Tampa and all over the place. Uh, how do you uh, mentor the freshmen here this year doing it for the first time? You know, just don't let it get too big. Um, it's just at the end of the day, you're on a field, 100 yards, so mm -hmm. that's all that matters. Take me back to the beginning of last week. Coach Babers has been talking about week one and week two. We're going to run the football, and maybe it just wasn't there the first two weeks. Why, why do you think it worked better this last week? Well, like I said, I mean, once that line starts coming together and, you know, mm -hmm. it's just different things that you can do, and um, I can help out a little, and then once everything starts clicking, you know, that's what can happen. You kept giving the ball to Dante there in the, the first quarter, especially had 30 carries for the game. When you see a guy like that, just feeding and feeding, uh, what'd you learn out of Dante Strickland this week? I mean, I've, I've known Dante the whole, I mean, ever since we've been here, he's a, he's a warrior. So he can run the ball. Jordan can run the ball most quick. He can run the ball. So I got faith in all the backs and whoever put back there. Where are you at right now as an offense? You guys ran 105 plays last week, which is a ton didn't get as many points out of it as you'd like. How do you reconcile the difference between you're out there a lot, but maybe not finishing off the drives right now? You just got to be consistently good, not occasionally great. Like coach always says, um, always got to be consistently good, not occasionally great. We were uh, occasionally great last game. You know, we had a great first quarter. That's how we should be. That's, you know, the standard that we hold ourselves to. And, you know, after that, that's, it wasn't good. So we just got to step it up. Is that first quarter, because that first quarter was great, mm -hmm. is that encouraging or frustrating to you guys? I mean, it's encouraging, but that's the, again, that's the standard. You know, we got to get used to that. Mm -hmm. can't get, you can't get shocked that we put up 17 points in five minutes. You know, that's what we got to do. You got to put up more points and just, you know, know that we're helping out the defense doing that. Is there something with you as a quarterback in this system, knowing that on most of these plays, there is an option for eight yards if you want it, and the big play might be out there, but is that something you have to consciously look for out there? Um, it's just I stick to the rules, you know, I stick to what coach always tells me, and um, I just go by what he says. All right, here you are on the road, Connecticut this week. They're a, a very different style team than the last two teams. They're not going to be <laughs> running around, yeah. speeding it up. How different a, of a game is this where maybe there won't be as many possessions or plays? Just really got to execute offensively, um, help our defense out, like I've been saying. We got to do our job. How big is this game for you guys just to, you know, get feeling good again here after a couple of tough weeks? Every game is a big game. We just, you know, love to win, got to win, so that's the mindset. All right, Eric, good luck this week. Thank you.